my mother, Cecilia Ogwal, she used to call herself, I'm the last chairman. She used to want to call herself chairman. When they made the constitution amendment, when they made the constitution to introduce instead of a chairman, a chairperson, she said she is a chairman because she led a bank which was called African uh, Uganda Development Bank, and during her term as a chairman, it did a lot of progress. And what some of us are trying to get here do, we are doing it in a negative direction. I met my mother, Sissi Ogwal, when she used to come to our home when I was a young man. I come from a UPC family. My mother and my father were congressmen, and the UPC knew where to go. And she would come and stay at our home. I was a young man. And she looked at me and said, he told my parents, we need to work with this one. And the UPC knew how to do it. They would go in secondary schools and look for bright boys to go in the homes of ministers during holidays. If I say boys because I was in Mwiri, I never knew they were also going to the girls' schools. But I think even the girls' schools, they used to go there. I personally, I stayed in Mateke's home in Kololo, a man from Chisoro, I'm from Obugisu, living in Masetekuya, Chirunda, Chivejinja from the east. What were they preaching? Rules of Chirunda, they were preaching nationalism. It is unfortunate, and we just want to tell Jimmy Akena, that you should thank Honorable Okupa Elijah, otherwise you would not be a chairman, you would not be a president of UPC, you would be the ones there. Yes, you had Honorable Katun to say that they were chest. We wanted to go to capture Uganda House. So as younger men, when uh, that was in the seventh parliament, we had the steps planning to go and capture Uganda House. Mama Cecilia comes with the letter Ekuro, a pack, doctor. They were coming from meeting from Serena. Then they looked at, you know, they used to, she used to look at me and say, you, me, I was the worst, I think I was already eager to act. He said, you boys, you're after something wrong. You are going to do something. Okupa came up and said, Mama, we're going to capture Uganda house. Then Okupa Park and Mama said, Please, leave. We're going to handle it. And uh, that's why you, you ne you, we never went to capture. And uh, you are able to come and uh, get it there. Otherwise, we would be the ones in the church. So you must thank Mama Sisi Ogwal lying here. <laughs> Madam Speaker, during the CA, when people were going to contest for CA, you had to get a clearance from Ministry of Finance. And I have two experiences which I will speak about. One of them is the Right Honorable Kadaga and her. The government then, using some methods, we would use taxes for you not to stand, so you don't get clearance. So Rebecca Kadaga had a law firm had a bitter estimate. Madam Cecilia Ogwaru, you know she was a businessman, all of you know Lila, Lila Miras. She had the estimates. I am here standing to make a decision. I wrote a note to my, the, uh, the Secretary that I have cleared these two ladies because these are just estimates. Otherwise, you are just pla these people are planning to stop them to go under contest for CA. Mama Sisi Ogwara came and said, you are a true son and a true Ugandan. And from that day, she confirmed, I am one of her sons. In 2001, I come to Parliament. I get Mama Cecilia. She was there for us. Again, we must tell the people of Uganda, sometimes we never did the undoables because Mama would say, today, no action. No action. When she would say, cease the fire, we would do it. And when she would say, go and say like this, we would do it. And whenever we would speak, you must look in our direction to ensure that you are not disappointing her, otherwise it would be a problem. That's the life we led. As much as we have grown like this, 
up to now we're looking at her. You would see me going to her. She would call me like this, and I go there. So, Madam Speaker, in that context, that's why I want to thank such leaders. You people clamor for committees. Mama Cecilia, new figures. These are the women who did big combo when it was still in Nairobi. To go under the cameras, you must be bright. That's why Mwesa, is it Mwesa or something? Uh, the Minister of Finance did it. Of course, they know where Bikom wasn't in Makerere. And when she went to the budget committee, she knew what to say. And that's why OO is right. That whenever she would sign on a report, you would know their figures. You see here people clamoring for committees for the sake without even an idea how to go and operate there. And uh, Madam Speaker, during this time, we have already finished two and a half years. Look through it further. Should a person go to the committee for the sake of going to sit there and uh, take tea and uh, to, to claim that he is a member of that committee without competency? Without competency? Now we are talking about Mama Cecilia would come with figures because she had the competence. And you will see everybody when they are talking about you, everybody is jumping up to speak. You even you don't know how the figure was derived, but you are speaking. Colleagues, I have seen Mama Cecilia, I am worried for you women. Now they are gagging you against her. I don't know which woman will take her mantle. I am worried. I am worried. When she would speak, even us, we have sons and men who are bright who would keep what? Quiet. Now, I have not seen any woman who is going to speak here and we keep quiet without putting her on order. <laughs> this parliament must grow. As one ever cut on to say it, we must practice what she was doing. She could debate in this house without fear or favor. She was a nationalist. And some of us here come to debate as if you are debating for only your home, which is very dangerous for this country. Mama Cecilia, I can tell you, these women you have left, some of them never wanted to learn. But I hope from the speeches which are taking place, they are going to check themselves and start learning. Okay, well, I'm about to finish. One MP here was giving Katundro wanted to give one ever cartoon information. There are people who can give people cartoon on another information. You don't <laughs> just jump up and say information. What do you know? Huh? Um, I am the one who can tell cartoon. If I had the one who had got up to speak, he would have sat down. Nathan. But what I'm trying to say that Nathan. we must learn. There's information from, uh, from uh, Asuman. OK, Asuman, you're a fellow lawyer. You can come and <laughs> And, and, and the other thing is um, the whips, I mean, the leadership of uh, committees are assigned by whips. Nobody goes there on his own. And people learn. It, it is not the speaker that assigns. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, my honorable colleague, for giving way. The information I actually want to give relates to the fact that it is possible for a novice to give information in an area where he is competent about. It may not really be necessarily on account of age or, or experience in parliament. And uh, that's the information I want to give. But I also wanted to test whether you would allow me to give you information. <laughs> Thank you, thank well, you. I thank you much, Madam Speaker, for that. Madam Speaker, I want ne to say thank you so Nathan, much. Nathan, can we conclude? Everybody wants to speak. Madam, just concluding now. Madam Speaker, I want to thank you as a party. What I've raised, I gave it in a good context. And sometimes we need to give information uh, based in the parliament on such. When you are debating an issue about Sicilia, we give it in real time. Madam